Hello, artists, and welcome back to Art Class with Mrs. Comer. We are officially done with our drawing unit, and now that it's after fall break, we are moving on to painting. Now, some things that you will need for painting, you will need a piece of paper, you will need a paintbrush, you will need um, either a watercolor paint palette or washable liquid paints, um, a paper towel, and a bowl of water. I'll show you what my paint setup looks like soon. Now today we are having an exploration day. You know how this works. It's where we explore our materials. We just have fun with it and we make some ideas about what we experienced. So we are exploring painting today. Today we will explore different types of paint and painting techniques safely. If you are here at school, we will be using two kinds of paint. And if you are at home, you can use whatever you have access to. At the end of class, we're going to justify our favorite kind of paint with a partner. But if we only used one, we'll just reflect on some techniques that we used. Are you ready? Good. Here's our agenda. We're going to view different types of paint that artists use, especially in elementary school. We'll do a turn and talk or a stop and think where you ask yourself or ask a friend, um, what do you already know about paint? And then we're going to look at some different artists who became famous and well-known for making paintings. And then we'll get to make our art. We will clean up our mess, and we will do that very, very carefully because paint is messier than what we've been using for drawing. And then we will show what you know. One way to create art is through painting. We have liquid tempera paint. This paint is really good for mixing new colors, um, especially in these paint palettes. Um, they are, it's already liquid. It comes out of the bottle that way. I really like this kind of paint. Another kind of paint we have is called watercolor paint. What do you think watercolor paints need to work? Yes, they need water. That is why they're called watercolor paints. So if you are using watercolor paints, you definitely need a cup or a bowl of water that won't spill near you so that you can use that water to activate your watercolors. Now these are called temper cakes. Sometimes people have temper cakes that they buy at the store. It's kind of like halfway between this liquid tempera and this watercolor mixed together. I say that because with temper cakes, you also need water to activate the paint, kind of like watercolor paints. You have to have a wet paintbrush, swirl it around on the paint to make it work. If it's totally dry and your paintbrush is dry, it won't work. But it's not watercolor paint. It is tempera paint. Now, these are all acceptable types of paint that you could be using today. So now that we've looked at some paint, let's do a quick turn and talk or a stop and think. Partner, what do you already know about paint? If you have somebody near you um, at home that you could talk to about paint, what do you know about paint? Well, I know that blah, blah, blah. Talk it out with your people near you. If your grown-ups are busy because grown-ups are busy people, just do a stop and think where you stop and think in your mind, what do I already know about paint and how to use it? If you're here at school, I want you to pause the video, stand up, and partner up with somebody who's also standing up and talk about what you already know about paint. Are you ready? Go ahead. Great job, artist. Now, what we're going to do before I demonstrate how to explore painting and painting techniques in art class today, I'm going to show you some artists. Some are from the past and some are contemporary modern day artists. And um, what I'm going to show you are some of their paintings. They're all very different from each other. You guys know this is one of my all time favorite artists. And what is her name? Yes, it is Frida Kahlo. And I'm pointing right here. Where is Frida Kahlo from? Do you remember? Yes, she is from Mexico. This is a picture of Frida Kahlo right here. And these are some self-portraits that she has painted. Now, she used oil paint and she painted on boards. They're very beautiful, detailed self-portraits. And I can't wait to get more into her uh, maybe later on in a different project. This is Frida Kahlo. Here's another painter. His name is Pete Mondrian. And where is he from? 
He is from the Netherlands. Very good job. Here is his uh, picture right here. This is a picture of Piet Mondrian. Now, what does that tell us? The fact that the photograph is black and white, it tells us that the photograph is really old. Yes, the photograph is very old. Now, here are some paintings that Piet Mondrian did. They are so different from Frida's. But what I notice is that he has different colors. I know that he used a paintbrush to paint them. And I like how linear a lot of his work is. That means he has lots of lines. Now let's move on to another artist. This artist's name is Lord Sanchez. She is from Cuba. Very good. She is from Cuba. Now she does not use oil paint. She uses watercolor paint and she paints on big pieces of paper which you can see in this photograph right here of her painting. Now maybe that's what you're using at home today, watercolor on paper. This one, she's painted um, a black background with what looks like flowers on top of it. She's using a lot of techniques that we'll be using today. I can't wait to show you what they are. And this one, what do you see in this painting? Yeah, lots of circles, very, very good. Let's look at one more painter. This artist's name is Carrie Moyer, and she is from, yes, she is from here in the United States. Now, I love her work. This is a picture of her right here, standing in front of one of her paintings. She uses something called acrylic paint, and she paints on canvas. All the paintings I've ever done that I've shown you that I've done have also been acrylic paint on canvas. Now, we are not using acrylic paint because acrylic paint is permanent to your clothes, and we're just not ready for that quite yet. So here's what we're going to do, friends. We are going to be exploring paint just like these artists did when they started painting when they were younger. Here is today's challenge. We will explore paint today on watercolor paper. That's thick paper. If you don't have watercolor paper at home, is that okay? Of course it is okay. We are just painting on paper today. Now in class, I will be giving you different types of paint that you can use. I want you to use the paints for at least six to seven minutes. Now we're gonna be doing some different techniques that I'm gonna show you in just a second. Things like mixing colors to make new colors together or something called a wet on wet technique which is where you put water on your paper and then put paint into the water that's already on your paper. There's another technique that we're going to try today where it's layering colors once they dry adding another color on top of that and things like that. Now after we experiment with our painting materials we're going to justify what our favorite kind of paint was or what our favorite technique was from today. So here are some techniques I am about to show you. Wet on wet, mixing colors together to make new ones, and layering your colors after they dry. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. I also happen to have watercolor paints right here. Now one is fine. So here's what I have also, a small piece of paper. This is just for exploring. You don't have to have anything too big or fancy for today. We are just exploring, we're having fun, we're experiencing all of these materials, and we're gonna make some ideas about what we experience. So what I'm gonna do first is take my paintbrush, I'm gonna wet it, I'm gonna make sure that it is clean. Now when you're washing your paintbrush, we already know we are not slinging it around, we're not making bubbles, we're not making sounds with our paintbrush. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush, and with the first technique I'm going to do it's called wet on wet. So basically what I'm doing, kind of like what Lord Sanchez does, I am taking water, I'm adding it to my paper like this. Now, now you're like, Mrs. Comer, I can't really see it because it's just clear water. That's okay, because I'm not done. I'm just adding a little puddle, kind of like an oval shape. I was kind of inspired by Lord Sanchez. Now what I'm gonna do from here is take my paintbrush, if I have watercolor, I can swirl it around, usually for about 10 seconds, activating that paint with my water. And then wet on wet, I'm just gonna take this and drop it in. And can you see what's happening? Yes, it's spreading. If you look really closely, you can see the paint spreading around. I can wash my paintbrush 
Go to a different color, drop that in the water, and see how it spreads around and mixes too, okay? Just like this. I can play around with that all whole lot. I can even take my paper and maybe move some of it around. Now, let's do another technique. I'm washing my paintbrush very carefully, mixing colors together to make new ones. Let's do that. I'm gonna show you with liquid tempera. Maybe I will scoop out some yellow and put it in this empty one right here. Washing my paintbrush, wash, 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 wash. Maybe I'll get a little bit of red. What color is this gonna make? Yes, I just made my own homemade orange. So maybe I will paint a little bit with my orange on my paper. Now, I don't really know what I'm painting. I'm just kind of playing around, making some brush strokes. Maybe I'll even wash my brush, dry it off, and go to a different color and see if I can change it. Maybe like some white. Ooh, very pretty. The white has made my paint lighter. I'm just spreading around my paint. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna wash my paintbrush again. And maybe I'll mix watercolors. So here's some green. Adding that in. Maybe I wash my brush and I will get some yellow. Let's see what this does. Ah, beautiful. It's made it kind of like a lime green. So pretty. Wash my paintbrush. Let me show you the last technique I want you to try today, layering your colors after they dry. Now this is already kind of dry, this orange paint. Maybe what I'll do now is get some blue. It's a complimentary color. And I'm just gonna paint on top of that orange, layering it. I'm layering it. Friends, we are gonna have so much fun today. I'm gonna fill my entire paper up with different painting techniques. And if you want to experiment and try your own stuff, I hope you have so much fun doing that too. much fun painting with you. Let's do show what you know. If you have your partner near you that you talked to earlier, either your table partners or somebody near you at your house, you're going to tell them what your favorite and least favorite types of paint were from today and why you felt that way. Now, if you only used one kind of paint today, you are going to tell your partner about a painting technique that you use today. Tell them about a painting technique you use. Describe how you did it with your partner. Now, I have had so much fun painting with you. I absolutely love to paint. I cannot wait to paint with you again. We will be doing this for a few more weeks. So um, if you ever have more time at your house, you're more than welcome to do more painting. All right, friends. I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.